We're going to VidCon. We're going to VidCon. We're going to VidCon. We're going, going, what, what? What's up, socials? Happy Sexy Wednesday. I thought since right now, I'm literally right, like right, like right now, I'm flying to LA for VidCon, and I wanted to rub it in the face of those of you who are not there, and also give some prime advice to those of you who will be. A lot of video creators go to VidCon, and they absolutely should, because there's a great opportunity to collaborate with all these other cool personalities. Literally, if you didn't buy the like industry badge, but you still consider yourself in the industry, use that time to just make videos because quite frankly, that's a way better use of your time. I say that as somebody that goes to conferences a lot, so I feel like I know the content that they're talking about, which is exactly why I just buy a basic badge and just make videos the whole time. You might actually find that the content is good for you, so you should definitely do it if it is something you're interested in, but remember, every ounce of downtime, you should be making videos. Okay, maybe not every ounce. You should eat sometimes and sleep, but every other time, videos. So here's the thing, a lot of people go to VidCon and and you do get the opportunity sometimes to get someone on camera that is way out of your league, has huge amounts of subscribers and followers, and it's exciting. And they're usually fine with it because that's what people sign up for for this weekend. But if you wanna make the most of it and not just be some other schmo that published a video of everyone's favorite YouTuber and was like, hey guys, hey, hey, I'm here with hey, this guy, isn't he great, isn't he so great, isn't he so, I just love everything you do. Don't be that guy, don't be that girl, don't be that child, I don't care how old you are, make good content. Here's what you gotta do. You know who you're gonna be starstruck over, right? So make notes to yourself. What was your favorite video that they've made? What's something that interests them that is something you're so interested in? What do y'all have in common? Who do you know that the other person knows well also? Anything you can think of, take notes about these people and study them. Because then when you're in that moment of like, oh my God, I'm starstruck and I don't know what to do. You'll remember your notes, and when you go to flip that camera on, when you get to the front of the line to talk to that person that's been standing there all day waiting for hugs and signatures and pictures and videos, you'll know exactly what to say, and even if it's a one minute video, if you get that much time with them, it'll be great because you prepared yourself and you talked about something that your audience cares about, their audience cares about, and everyone generally cares about. Don't go to VidCon unprepared. Bring all your cameras, your mics, your notes, your smile, your business cards. Do it and you will have such a good trip. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. If you're going to be at VidCon, find me and be like, hey, you're schmatastic. I watch Savvy Sexy Social three times a week and sometimes I listen to a podcast and it's been really, really awesome and I so appreciate it and will you take a picture with me and let's make a video together. If you say any of that stuff, I will respond. Happily, <laughs> happily, these are the moments that are so, so exciting for people that make videos. So please come say hi and tweet with me at Schmatastic and at Savvy Sexy Social if you can't be there and you just want to follow along with my stuff so you can be secretly really, really, really upset with me, okay? I'll see you tomorrow for Social Thursday.